Ashley Woman claims she would do anything to keep her son healthy, but it's come with a pretty hefty price tag after she says she had to move out of the Hayward Apartments because it tested positive for mold. Anna Harris sat down with her to hear her story. There's nothing more frustrating than knowing that there's something wrong with your kid and there's no one that will help you. Lauren Lamatia and her son Leo moved into the Hayward Apartments in West Ashley in 2020. What began as off and on colds led to a sickness that wouldn't go away for Leo last spring. Lamatia says he had constant mucus, an oozing eye, and he even eventually stopped walking and talking. He was diagnosed with three different viruses and pneumonia in his right lung. A specialist recommended to get an environmental test in their apartment, which is when she hired the mold girl in GSL Engineering. She said, based on how I feel after being here and testing, I wouldn't keep my family here for another day. So that night we packed up and we left. She took the topical test to the Hayward management, who then hired a vendor to remediate the area and clean invasively, which she claims only exacerbated the problem. It was worse, obviously, than what was just topical. And those spores got thrown out into the air, in through our air ducts, and contaminated all of our belongings. When the two initial companies came out to test again, the results were worse than before. One air quality test says anything higher than a five requires an investigation. The apartment's levels, a 7.7. .7. In a separate test, there are a variety of molds found, with some of these also showing in the 95th percentile in Leo's urine sample. When I told the complex that, they considered this matter closed and that they had denied any allegations with my initial concern by sending a vendor out there to fix it. The Hayward offered to terminate her lease under one condition. She had to sign a waiver of liability, a confidentiality agreement, and a non-disclosure form. When she refused, she had to pay nine more months of rent in an apartment she couldn't live in. Between moving, medical, rent, um, legal counsel, just consultations, um, closer it's between forty and fifty thousand dollars out of pocket. The Hayward's attorney says they cannot comment on specific questions about any resident, but they are aware of the resident's complaint to which they promptly investigated and responded. He says they contest the resident's portrayal of the facts and corresponding actions. Lamantia says she wants to warn other renters about the dangers mold could present. <laughs> I just hope that people get out of that place. It's just a breeding ground for mold, and they have no idea that they're going to breathe in these these terrible things and that could permanently damage them. She recommends if anyone is feeling symptoms, no matter where they live, to get your place tested. In West Ashley, Anna Harris, Live 5 News.